Good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to DG360, and this is the Inside Star Citizen Review. Star Citizen's longest review show here on the internet. Thank you for joining us tonight. If you're on YouTube, please push the like button, subscribe, and click that bell. And try and get here with the live audience, who is completely awesome and amazing for being here tonight. Let's give them a round of applause for being here. Thank you. And you, of course, on YouTube. Let's see what we got tonight. Looks like some Arena Commander information. You know, Arena Commander, not super excited that they, you know, but let's see what the changes. Let's see what's up here in Arena Commander. Let's go. Did you know that Alpha 323 doesn't just have a ton of neat feature updates for the Precision Universe, but it's also got an entire host of new tracks, modes, fixes, and more for Arena Commander? Well, it does. Here's Arena Man Duncan Bunting himself to tell us more. I'm just giving everybody nicknames now. You only have eight minutes to explain all the Arena Commander things coming in Alpha 323. <laughs> I'm taking go. half of it. Uh, go. So with... <laughs> all right. Um, Seven minutes, 50 seconds. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> completely, completely unnerved by that. I love that. That needs to be a game show. That's it. That needs to be the new game show on Inside Star Citizen, man. Jared just needs to do this and go. Just like a timer in the corner. I love that. I love that concept. Very, very good. <laughs> All engines For free 23, we've got a bunch of new maps. We've got five new racetracks coming to Arena Commander. First, we've got okay. the Skyscraper, which is right. across the urban scape of I'm excited Area 18. It's actually a map from the PU, which already has the holographic sign set up. So this was a fun one for our team because we had to kind of mix Arena Commander and PU together for this race. Next up, we've got Kaplan Circuit. Kaplan Circuit is in Orison, and it is a very That's long but... That's my jam right there. That is the course of all courses. It's kind of straight and still challenging map. I don't think I've ever raced it without crashing after the first turn. Next up, we've got another map on Orison. It's the Dunlow Derby. Now, this was actually a community challenge from last year when the community team reached out to you guys and challenged you to get the best lap. We've now formalized it and put it into Arena Commander. That's awesome. Fourth, That's we've got awesome. more about outskirts. Now, this is right beside Hurston. And be the reason we're getting that. into this patch now is because we've got streaming, and it was actually the first ever map that we set up with streaming technology on Arena Commander. The race is across this mining forge facility that's behind Lorville, so you're ducking down and under buildings between rocks, in and out of pylons. It's a really closed-in, high-G race in low atmosphere on a heavy planet. The fifth map is called the Stanton Pyro Jump Point. It's actually something you guys helped test, and it was implemented for the Master Modes Experimental Mode for Classic Race. This map was created so that we kind of want to see the difference between players racing SCM versus nav mode and whether they switch between them. And the map just worked so well as our second zero G map for Arena Commander, we wanted to add it into Classic Race now that Master Modes is part of the entire game. They really went all out on the on the tracks. Interestingly enough, about a year ago, we featured a dude named Astro Chronicles. I don't know if you guys know who Astro Chronicles is, but there's a lot of theory craft and he and he designs ships that aren't in the game. He he makes mods and variations in the game. Like it's really cool what Astro Chronicles does. And he made like a cool marker. The OGs in the space here that have been watching DG360 for years understand this. We talked about this over a year ago. It was a cool little marker that he made where you could literally make like a ring shaped kind of hoop that you could pass through change the different colors you guys remember yeah he made the rescue terrapin video arcane uh he made a lot of really cool videos where he modded ships he also added a racing marker that i thought was really ingenious and i was like wow this is before we even got into SIG developing these tracks for us. And I said, you know, SIG really needs to bring in Astro Chronicles marker so that everybody can make their own tracks, which is really the most ideal way to go about making these tracks. I'm glad they went this route because they really put a lot of effort into pleasing the racing community. Although the racing community very upset about what's happening with Master Modes and saying that Master Modes is ruining racing. I haven't really gotten an update on that because I'm not a huge racer, but I respect the racing community. So if you're 
you're part of the racing community, you're watching on YouTube or you're here live, tell us what you think as we're going into 3.23, what you think about Master Modes with racing. If you feel it's ruining racing, if you don't, let us know in the comments. I would like some feedback on that. But interestingly enough, we started talking about these markers a lot on the channel about a little over a year ago before we started seeing a lot of work being put into these racetracks here. And instead of um, the, the development team kind of listening to us for these markers to be put in, which, by the way, you should, Jared, you guys should put that in the game. I think that's really important for people that are in racing leagues to create their own tracks. Really respect the work that's being done here, by the way. But, like, that's the route they ended up going. So we were pushing. We were talking a lot about how we wanted these markers in there for racers because the racing community was really down for it. Those that watch Astro Chronicles were like, wow, this is a really cool thing. And... I'm going to keep voicing out because I think that the racing community really would like these markers to create their own custom tracks. You could you could change the diameter of the ring. You could change the color of the ring. And essentially, it's just a box that emits uh, a, a, a hoop, right, in the game. And because, you know, it would be an in-game asset, you could also buy and sell it on the market. It's a really cool idea. But anyway, I am glad that they did this and they and they put some extra effort into making these uh, tracks for uh, the racers. It's just now I'm wondering with Master Modes if the racers are happy. As a bonus, we're getting Miner's Lament, which was a classic race map. Yeah, they're really cool concepts, Backspace, yeah. Enabled in all flight modes, so you'll be able to experience Swarm or any dogfighting mode on Miner's Lament, which is a really awesome map to experience. Shields hit. With the new Master Mode speeds, because of all the cover and debris everywhere, it really makes for a, a kind of a unique experience compared to our other maps. So let's get into the new experimental modes for Free 23. Starting with Engineering. We've got free game modes coming. Oh, I'm here we go. Components. Tell you about it. Yeah. So we introduced, with the help of the of Duncan's team, an experimental mode in the Arena Commander, Good where plus, we have uh, three different modes. Uh, it's a duel. Uh, it's a one v six fight, and it's the free flight. So in the first mode, in the 1v1 mode, you, as your group, uh, are sitting in an A2 and you are facing another group of players in another A2. Ideal I that's awesome. crew is I heard six A2 players, you awesome. fire heard, at each other uh, Gladius, and try so to destroy well the other ship Gladius while A2, some of the players so well might be balanced. running around and repairing any damage that has been dealt. The yeah, purpose of yeah. our test, we focus on the time to kill, where we want to see what a difference the corresponding engineering team on the ship itself does. So we are looking at the time for how long the items actually survive, how long the fuses survive, how long the A2 itself survives, how long the, by the, way, the so players survive in that devs. scenario. In the second mode, you are again using the A2, but this time you are not uh, fighting another A2. This time you are Gladius. fighting a group of Gladii. So the difference is Which that they, have they are multiple attackers. By the end so of the week. you basically have to coordinate your defense. But in addition to that, we are also looking into a different sized weapons, a different loadout. The A2, for example, is fully energy weapon versus the Gladius actually has a ballistic that has different penetration values yeah, in comparison so. to What's... the <laughs> to disclaimer. So we put some penetration values right now on the energy weapon, which is not uh, the plan right now for yes, the actual release, e. but for our testing purposes, we needed to put some values there. The difference Glad is <laughs> it's multiple attackers with a different type of weapon set, with different type of ammunition that has a different impact on the ship items inside the A2. We are hoping to learn how much longer <laughs> the A2 survives in this scenario versus multiple attackers. So if we suddenly gain an advantage over multiple attackers, what, once an engineer is actually running around and uh, fixing items or 
engineering. Doing some maintenance that is required. 1.0, baby phase, baby phase, the engineering. The third mode is free flight. In free flight, you basically... Also a great test bed. Like, this is also a great test bed for engineering. I'm very excited about engineering. I know a lot of you are out there as well. A lot of fans of the engineering and, and that gameplay, especially larger ships. There's going to be people running around trying to fix these fuses and components all over the ship. We want to make sure that they're, they're testing for the actual damage and that the damage that is being put upon them is correct and that it's appearing everywhere that it needs to in terms of the DPS being put on the ship. Very, very important, and I think that this is kind of like a test bed for it. Basically spawn any ship that is uh, valid for the mode. You can familiarize yourself right, with chef. the basic principles of uh, the engineering gameplay, so you can right, experiment right, with right. the engineering <laughs> right, con dude, right, console, right. figure out a um, balanced power management. We currently already have a very limited power management available to you, where it's just about turning items on so that you are off and on <laughs> to, to yeah. get into a, a positive or a equal balance so that you don't deplete your battery. Also meant to be for you. Getting people familiar with engineering, getting people more accustomed to uh, handling a larger ship. You're going to see a lot of people come in and complain first off. That'll be the first phase where everybody starts to bitch and moan. Uh, then you're going to see the dev team start to listen to people and start to balance this out and start to make the gameplay a little bit more streamlined as they go here. But this is really fun because this is like um, an, an engineering uh, platter, if you will, to the face. I love it. I think it's super important for future gameplay. Uh, I can't tell you how great it is in terms of the tactics when you're talking about fleet battles, larger ships against larger ships. Um, you know, this is all part of the fun. This is why people signed up for Star Citizen. They don't want just like, here's a skill book, uh, you know, push, push study on the skill book, and then a day later you automatically know everything. No, they want this. This is what we want. We want this in-depth kind of gameplay. This is why the game itself brings in most... Uh, interesting people intelligent people right like i like this about this game there is a learning curve here and i love what they're doing so the more they put into um details and complex type of gameplay loops the better i love it the better i love it to help you orientate yourself for the other gameplay scenarios so you that you know where to look for the relays where to look for the fuses we have to look for the yep. corresponding items. People call, so it's basically to the this. learning practice yes, room yes, for, yes. for the actual modes. Exactly what they're doing. Exactly. So the intention of this test is a very focused, <laughs> where we <laughs> want to learn about the time to oh, kill, here not is. only for everybody the ship, here is works. but everybody about me, buddy. also, well, actually mainly for the items. It is not the full engineering hey, gameplay up, loop, so you, we don't showcase the full uh, energy balance, energy management, coolant management, all the other resources that you will have. So it's just about how damage is applied, yes. what are the tactical choices that player make, yes. how to how much time the, uh, it takes to, yes. to kill the components, yes. how much time it takes to kill the, the, your opponent. That's it. Excellent. That's all we need to start out. They're making it simplistic in terms of where the DPS is being applied, exactly as I stated. Um, I guess I, my assumptions were correct. Tarot, how, uh, how are we doing on time? Do we still have time to tell them about the other stuff? Hurry, hurry, do it fast. What is the other stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so for free 23, we've also got custom lobbies coming to Arena Commander. Now, this was previously called private matches. Um, many years ago, and it's finally coming back in the form of custom lobbies. The reason it's called custom is we've got a bunch of custom settings for you guys, and this is something we're super excited to expand upon. So I want to see you guys team up with your mates, go into custom lobbies, feedback on our feedback threads of what custom Good. settings you would like, and Good. we'll implement them. Good. The other big feature is obviously streaming, which I mentioned earlier. This is a really awesome tech that we finally got into Arena Commander. And it's going to let us bring quite a lot of fun stuff to you guys fairly soon. Characters in VoIP is another update coming. All VoIP right. we're enabling in Arena Commander as well with uh, mute and unmute functions. And your PU character is now playable in Arena Commander, so no more running about as this all default right. bold character. Right, you can now right. customize your character all and bring right. it into Arena there Commander and do whatever there you want. There There's also go. changes to Gun Rush, Pirate Swarm, general team balance. For Gun Rush, we've been working closely with the weapons team to get them the feedback that they want. So they've been All helping right. us set up new weapon lists. One okay. of the big Gun Rush changes is that we're adding multiple weapon lists <laughs> so that we can turn on and off different weapon lists for you guys to play throughout the patch. 
for Pirate Swarm, the Javelins are getting replaced with two Idrises with a lot of firepower coming after the okay. event that happened in 322.2. For Team Balance, we're addressing some of the challenges we've had with it recently. For 322, we tried out some stuff, and for 323, we think we've came up with the best solution. It's gonna keep you playing with your teammates and have the best experience. Keeping asses in seats, man. That's what it's about. And finally, let's talk about achievements. Target destroyed. There we go. So there's Liberal two boards, huh? achievement updates coming with this patch. The first one, you're able to play Endless Vandal Swarm. If you reach Rave 25, you're gonna get the new Vandal Aggressor badge. Oh, okay. Next up, little, we've got the 99th there. Test Squadron badge. Now, this is a badge that was added for 322, and it's getting an update for this patch. For this badge, you just have to play every experimental mode throughout the patch. I like that they're doing that. So that's most of the stuff coming to Alpha 323 with Arena Commander, but there's a couple more things. Check out the patch notes when they drop, and be sure to check out Arena Commander. There's a lot of exciting things coming to the PU, but we do have some surprises still left, and that work. I felt like that was way too <laughs> short. I did one quick sentence. No, you're, um, you're, you're, you're good. Play Arena Commander. <laughs> so what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that there's five new maps for racers and a whole new mode yeah. for gravel bikes on the way. We also learned that this is Theaters of War. Like I was saying a long time ago when Sean came on and said, hey, we're going to do Theaters of War. This essentially, Arena Commanders, is Theaters of War. They're going to break it down. They're going to build it back up like they have been. Like I said over a year ago, I said this Theaters of War is probably not going to happen. What's going to happen is they're just going to take Arena Commander apart, and then they're going to build it back up and make Arena Commander essentially the Theaters of War that, that, that Sean wanted in the first place, which I think is probably a better direction uh, that they do something like this, you know. But the next experimental modes for Arena Commander are just a narrow slice of the engineering gameplay focused on time to kill for ships and components alike. And that private lobbies, they're back. Man, most and they're excited, called custom matches and they'll be waiting for you when Alpha 323 drops. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Thanks for letting us share the process of game development with you. We'll see y'all here next week. Hey, man, I appreciate they're so goddamn transparent and so consistent. There's no other developer out there doing this type of level of, of what's going on in the project. And they don't share everything. They don't let the cat out of the bag on everything. As we know with Citizen Con, how it wrapped up, it looks like they're not doing any kind of like fun ending segments anymore. How many can you do after a while, right? <laughs> but anyway... I appreciated this time with you. If you're on YouTube, thank you. Get your butts over here. Get live. We do have an after party that you're going to miss. So you want to make sure that you get here live 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Thursday night. If you're watching on YouTube, get here with all these amazing people. Don't forget to get involved in our giveaway. We're giving out a Hall E with lifetime insurance worth $1,500. <laughs> and that's from... That's from our beloved benefactor, St. Grizz, who we love. How will be his name? We're going to play that giveaway, and we're also going to announce some amazing giveaways in the future on the after party here for the live audience. So you're welcome. Wait till you hear what St. Eric is throwing in the pot here for the future giveaways. You guys are going to love it. And uh, see y'all later, YouTube. Thanks for joining us here. Try and get here 